Brittany Rainey standing by now with a look ahead at the weather. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited about the forecast later this week. I mean, this is how our October has started. A lot of above normal days. In fact, every day so far this month has been above normal. We've seen a lot of 90s. Today was our first cooler day. Thanks to a front that moved through earlier this morning. We actually saw temperatures closer to where they should be. But we are looking at another brief warm up tomorrow back to the 90s. So we have at least one more 90 degree day before a strong cold front moves in Tuesday evening. And that's going to bring fall back as we head towards the middle of the week. But tonight it's still going to feel pretty nice outside. We'll still see those temperatures falling into the mid 50s, even lower 60s around DFW. But then tomorrow afternoon, that's when we're going to have those highs getting back up into the 90s. So about 90 degrees in DFW, even some upper 80s up along the Red River. But as we head into Tuesday evening, we're going to see that strong cold front move in. Unfortunately, it's going to move through dry, but we are going to see our winds picking up out of the north. We'll have gusts around 20 to 30 miles an hour, so it's going to be very breezy overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. If you have any of those Halloween inflatables outside, you're going to want to make sure they're tied down or really good because even by Wednesday morning, we're still seeing some of those gusts around 20 miles an hour, so the kids are going to want the jackets out at the bus stop on Wednesday morning, and then we'll see our winds subsiding as we head into Wednesday afternoon, but that's going to return the fall air to our area. So Wednesday morning we wake up to 54 degrees, clear skies and then in the afternoon 69 is our high. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. You might even need a light sweater all day if you're one of those chilly people <laughs> like me. Very much looking forward to that. Unfortunately, we would like more rain. We were hoping that we would start to see some rain chances over the weekend, but that system is getting hung up a little bit further to the northwest. That's where we're going to see some higher rain chances around Lubbock and then even back into the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. And you'll notice we're only looking at about a quarter of an inch of rain as that system moves through on Monday. We might get an isolated shower out there. So with our continued drought conditions and very dry air in place, that means we are continuing to see that elevated fire threat across the area. We still have some burn bans in place as well. So please make sure you avoid any activity that could start a fire. As far as that pollen count goes, we are still in the medium to high category for the next several days. But if you wanted to go out this evening, I mean, look at this beautiful blue skies. We're sitting in the lower 80s. We'll fall into the 70s later this evening. And that first alert seven day forecast is looking pretty phenomenal. Even as we head into the weekend, we kept in just that 10% rain chance, but that's likely going to disappear. Although we are going to see some clouds from that system moving in this weekend.